song it's brand new we have another amazing show i am so happy it's september 3rd 2020 stay tuned we got matt on the show guys it was entertaining podcast here we go tell your friends and family call everybody right now Woo! we are live again guys can you believe it? another ariel's entertainment podcast i said ariel's entertainment podcast I'm so excited for the show today. It's one of my favorite things to dive into, jump into, talk about, and that is broadcasting. So this goes out to all my broadcasting people. I am your host, Ariel. We got our guest here on the other line. His name is Matt. Shout out to Matt. What's up? Before we get down to the topic, guys, I want to say thank you so much for all your support, liking, subscribing, following, telling your friends and family. It means a lot if you guys like this episode share it and follow thank you so much shout out to arielent.com that's my website guys i got the shop go check out the shop i'm telling you it's the hottest new store right now i'm not i wouldn't say that just to say that check it out arielent.com i got the stickers pens and shirts do it right now guys thank you so much for your support arielent.com go to my instagram Ariel E-N-T-P-O-D. Ariel E-N-T-P-O-D. I'm so excited about the show today. Uh, what else do we say? We got to do the prayer. But before do we do the prayer, I always have to say today is September 3rd. And this show is about the community. It's about helping each other. If you have anything you want to learn about broadcasting, this is going to be the podcast for you. I wouldn't say that again just to say that. Oh my goodness. Uh, Here's a prayer. I came prepared today, guys. I come prepared. St. Michael, the archangel of Jesus, God, defend us in prayer. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, Prince of heavenly hosts, by power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits in negativity who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of our souls. And take care of Matt when he goes over to, I think he said Oregon, go see some family and take care of everybody that's traveling. And uh, you guys take care of being safe. Thank you for the food that we have on our tables. Thank you for our jobs. Thank you uh, for getting us places to A and B safely. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. Amen. We always do the prayer, guys. I sw- I get comments and feedback all the time that the prayer is the best part of the whole podcast. I say thank you so much. My favorite part is everything about the podcast straight up arielent.com guys it's where it's at here we go matt thank you so much for being on the show tell us who you are and what you do and where we can follow you man thank you so much for coming on the show buddy well yeah thanks for having me yeah i'm i'm matt g uh, i'm i'm a renaissance man i'm uh well-rounded <laughs> i'm a comedian uh, broadcast operator uh writer uh grandfather a dog lover uh, philosopher, a reverend, uh, I don't know, I do a little bit of everything. And you can you find do. me on uh, at it's Matt G, I-T-S-M-A-T-T, Matt uh, G, bleh, I-T-S-M-A-T-T-G, it's Matt G, or on <laughs> Instagram or Snapchat, it's me, Matt G, so I-T-S-M-E-M-A-T. Or on Twitter at it's ITS underscore me, Matt G. There you go, guys. Make sure to go support and check out Matt's social media. This guy is so awesome. I wanted to talk to Matt. I wanted to bring him on the show because I have passions in these topics, and that is broadcasting, and that is being a writer, and that is as well. Uh, not one of my passions, but I think it's really cool that he does this on the side as well as being a reverend. And so we're going to jump into he, this. Guy, Matt does it all, guys. So I want to say thank you so much for Matt being here. He's in Colorado Spring, uh, Springs. He is in Colorado Springs, guys. So uh, I just want to say thank you so much, Matt. Guys, the first question we have for Matt that the community wants to know is, how do we know each other? Well, I met through Matt through the Instagram, social media. We liked each other. We liked the social medias that we do. And uh, from there on, we've just been friends. 
and we did this a while ago too and we just caught we're catching back up so i'm so grateful dude uh what made you what first question what made you get into broadcasting um well it's something that i've always been into is, uh, is tv and then um i've always been kind of a behind the scenes kind of person like when i was a kid i would watch i like to watch shows and movies that were about making shows and movies and stuff um, and I was like, a, I was always a photographer, I always had a camera in my hands most of the time. And um, it just kind of organically all came together. It's like, you know, yeah, I want to be a photographer. I want to be an actor. I want to, I want to do all these things. You know, it's like, well, how do I do it? It's like, well, New York's right over there. So mm -hmm. that's all the TV is. So um, yeah, I just kind of started, you know, I, I went to first, I went to film school. Yeah, I went there for, for a couple semesters. And then I transferred into a, a, a broadcasting program um, in New Jersey. And from there, I got a job, actually. It was a temp job with the cable company uh, as a studio tech for their public access studio, which was on campus. So that, that was my very first broadcast operations type job. That is so cool. And you said you grew up on the east side. We're talking about New Jersey? Yeah, New Jersey. Maywood, New Jersey, which is... Hackensack is, wait, Hackensack is here, Paramus is here, Maywood is here. Oh, wow. Hey, so when's the last time you visited? Uh, two, yeah, two years ago for my godson's uh, birthday. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I've never been to the east side, but I like to go out there, especially like to D.C. or something like that. Yeah, you should definitely go. You definitely, that's, that's, uh, that's where it all started, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. You see, you should go to Philly. Uh, I've never been to Baltimore. I've always wanted to go there. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to go there, too. I wanted to go to – I have never. haven't been to New York yet. I haven't been to Jersey yet. So, yeah, that's the places I'd like to go. Um, to, it's what not I like, for everybody. One year, uh, I'll tell you right off the bat. It's not for everybody. <laughs> Yo, so, um, so the, uh, broadcasting, your first gig, you got it. And then uh, from there – is that when you became a writer? Um, well, I had always been writing. It was kind of something I had always done. I always had little notepads. Actually, I still have notepads full of handwritten stuff. My phone's, the notepad thing on my phone's got files full of stuff. So the writing is something I've always done, whether it's been actually writing stuff down or just, you know, kind of spouting stuff, improv type stuff off the top of my head, like being in a situation, making shit up, and being a good liar. Uh, you're too funny. Yo, dude, I think it's really cool that you're into broadcasting. I went to school for that. So that's what I, I think is really cool. And you must be a really smart guy. How long have you been doing it again? 30 years? Uh, yeah, actually more than that. 1989 was when I got that job. So was it 88? No, 89. Yeah. So what's it now? 20, 20. 22. Yeah. It's almost 22 years. 32 years. years? <laughs> yeah, in October of, of 1989 was when I got that job. So, yeah. Yes, that's really cool, man. Uh, if you have, if somebody was interested in getting into broadcasting gigs, um, trying to get into it, uh, what's your recommendation? Maybe go to the website, look under careers, or go there in person. So, for instance, somebody has an idea, should they go straight to the – yeah, no, best, uh, any, any, any station nowadays is owned by a corporation in another state a thousand miles away, and the people there don't make the decisions. Um, basically, yeah, every website is going to have a career section down at the bottom of it, and they, they put jobs in there, you know, all kinds of jobs that are available, um, sales jobs, production jobs, you know, janitorial jobs sometimes. Um, I will say... Don't fall for the trick of, oh, I'll just get a foot in the door and I'll get a job doing this and then work my way over to that because uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, they'll stay where you are. <laughs> wow. So broadcast operations, you want to get it. You, you can get it. And I can actually, if anyone in Colorado Springs who is an experienced broadcast operator who knows exactly what it is that I do and knows how to do what I do and is looking for a job, they can slide up in my DMs and I can recommend them for a job because I know of one that's becoming available soon. Wow, so, cool. A couple of them that are available soon. 
So yeah, if you live in Colorado Springs or in surrounding areas, and you know what it is I do, not that it's like, oh, I can learn on, I mean, yeah, you can learn on the fly, but it'd be better if you actually knew what the hell was going on. <laughs> that and to have experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. A little, like years and years and years of experience. But six months to a year, maybe a year to two, you know, anything like that. We've actually actually done stuff in a live environment. And you know what it is I talk about. Or what it is what, what I meant when I just said you know how to you know how to handle a live environment. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's really cool. And I'm glad you're saying that out there too. So this is like because we do this as a community, so a lot of the community people can hear this and they could tell someone and that person tells someone or or somebody from somewhere can move to College Springs to try to apply for her or if they're everybody anybody's interested. So I think that's really cool. Shout out to the community. Shout out to New Jersey straight up. I like the New Jersey. I like my New Jersey Devils out there. Actually, I grew up a Rangers fan because we didn't have the Devils until I was in high school. Yeah, Devils fan here, man. Now, see, the Devils, they were originally the Colorado Rockies until like 1983, 84, something like that. Mm -hmm. Jersey Devils, and I was already a Rangers fan for so many years, so I couldn't really switch. You know? Yeah, oh, I'm a big fan. Of, I'm a huge fan of hockey. Did you see the Avalanche game last night? I haven't watched it in a while. Oh my gosh! What you got there? What you drinking? You got water? Just water with ice. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's packed with ice. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, dude. Hold on, is that from the Come and Go? Yeah. Ah. Oh, cover that product placement. Wait, hang on. That cover is, that up there. That's an awesome cup. That's one of my favorite cups. That's one of my favorite places to stop for gas. I use them like you know. I reuse it a bunch of times. You know, mm -hmm. I use it the one. Fill it up with some more water and ice and blah. And go. Yeah, you got to. You gotta, 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 gotta recycle, man. And condomize. There you go. There you go. Hey, so tell me about, okay, I, what, well, I know we're talking about broadcasting, but I know that uh, you have different hobbies. What's some other hobbies you like doing besides broadcasting? I know you like talking, hanging out with your family. What about um, being a reverend? I think that's really cool. How long have you been doing that? Um, off and on for a couple of years, actually. I hadn't done it in a while uh, since moving out here. Um, and it just was really something that just kind of inspired me uh, by the pastor at this church we used to go to and kind of inspired me to get back into it once. And uh, one day a prophet came to visit and she was meeting with everybody and she took my hands and she says, I see you standing in front of a big congregation in a huge church that's yours and everyone's listening to you. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. So, you know, I got to. I gotta follow the prophecy. Yeah, you gotta you gotta listen to that for sure. You gotta he, you know no, you gotta hear that. Wow. Uh -huh. I mean, everybody else, she just had you know normal like, oh, you're gonna end up with me. She was like, <sighs> yeah, damn. <laughs> hey, t so guys, make sure you go follow Matt. His Instagram is its me Matt G. That's how I met him, Matt G. I found him here on the Instagram. He has really cool pictures of him being a reverend. So if you guys are looking for being married and you don't want to go all the way to Vegas, hit up the homeboy here at Springs. Hey, Matt. Uh, everybody. everybody. As long as you have a license, obviously. But yeah, I'll marry everybody. Yeah, straight up. That is really cool. Uh, tell me. I tell can, tell, tell, actually marry people in all 50 states. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool, man. That's an so if you want to see you. Hey, so do, uh, how do you get something like that? You go to the internet or something? What, to book me for, to be a reverend? Or, yeah, isn't that to hit you up on the social medias, but, like, to be a reverend, do you have to go to school or something? Well, I went to school, but to be ordained, I got it done online. Yeah, online. I have years of religious school and education and stuff. So. Yeah, no, that's cool. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Oh, ha 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 look at me I don't actually take it serious yeah absolutely it's good to take it serious dude I heard that you got a new whip you got the new Toyota out there yeah so, I traded it for a brand new 2020 Camry LE um, loving it baby wow 
Sounds like you're going to take I, just, I, I wanted to try. It's like I, 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 I bought the car used, but I, I had, a, had a loan on it. So I still had a payment on it. Yeah. And it was like getting over 2,000 miles. It's 2014. So it's like, okay, I got to get new tires. That's like five, 600 bucks. I'm going to have to get new brakes soon. That's like 200 bucks, even if I do it myself. Right. Um, there's, there was some body work that had to be done. The bumper cover was pop, kept popping off and the, yep. the thing broke. So it's like, why am I going to dump all this money into a car? I'm still making payments on. Why don't I see if I can roll it into a new car and whatever. And, and all the numbers lined up and they're like, yeah, we can get you in this. I mean, my payment's kind of steep right now, but it's all right. I'm in a brand new car. So <laughs> because it's, it's got the Toyota care. So I only have to put gas in it for the next two years. Wow. No, it, it's well, really good deal. No, I'm glad that uh, you, you thought about it because you're like, should I spend all this money on this car or just get a brand new, brand new one? Yep. Start from scratch. So is your dog, is your dog available to be in the new car? No, no dogs are allowed to be in the car. Hey, are you, are you using the, the new car to go cross country? Yeah. That's the other reason why I got a new one. I figured with all this driving I want to do, yeah, it's better for me. Yeah, absolutely. Good for you. Glad you're being safe. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, you know, get smart after a few years, you learn something. So, <laughs> hey, so, uh, hey, so uh, what? I got a couple more questions. Uh, what have you learned from broadcasting these, um, these last couple years? Um, well, it's definitely, it's changed since when I started. It's a completely different animal. I mean, I don't even want to get into it. This will take hours, but it's basically, it's just, you know, with all these corporations taking over and Wall Street taking everything over, it's, it's, it's all, just be aware of the fact that everything you are looking at on TV, on a, any kind of a program that's sponsored or whatever, they are marketing to you. They are trying to get you keep your eyes on this screen watching whatever the hell's going on here long enough so that when they fade to black, they can fade up on, hi, I'm Tom Schell to tell you about reverse mortgages. Why don't you buy these? Or, hey, I'm uh, whatever this dude's name is from Falcon Crest and I got gold coins for sale. You know, it's to sell you shit you don't need to take whatever little money you got left. That's all what it is about. What about, about the one? What about the one that's like, get the picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up it's all, about, it's all to entertain you it's all to keep you watching so yes there is truth <coughs> in, in, the, in some of the news that you see there has to be, that's the law um, I would trust the local uh, uh, news more than I'd trust the national, the networks and the, and the, the, the cable news, the 24-7 networks because they basically just have to fill time it's just all about content and it's just like whatever it is they can they can get to, you know, it's eyes on the screen. You know, they used to say when you're a musician, it's all about butts in the seats. You know, it doesn't right. just get the, get the butts yep. in the seat. Well, that's, yeah. it's, it's all about eyes on the screen. It's all about getting you watching right here. We are watching right there and not looking away. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, wow. Uh, especially from how it was to the day till until now, how much, uh, technology's changed with the broadcasting as well. Sure. Yeah. Well, um, the fact that we can do this right here, right now. That's what I'm saying. A couple stages. When I right TV, what it would have taken just to set up just this live feed between us, there'd be a satellite truck outside my house. There'd be another one outside your house. There'd be a crew in each truck lining up the thing so they make sure we'd have to book the satellite time. And then after that, we'd have to find some place to air it and how are we going to get it there? So, yeah, oh, my God. It's like this would have cost millions of dollars and involved dozens, if not hundreds of people just to do what we're just doing right now, me in, in a recliner in my living room and you and wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, to be honest, I really love this, too. I really love the uh, the broadcasting. I love uh, I don't, podcasting, but broadcasting, but uh, this medium, uh, this Zoom, I think it's it's so cool. I really enjoy it a lot, dude. It's 
Sure. And back in the eighties, my friends and I, we were, we were the OG podcasters. We used to, we used to set up my boom box with my, with my radio shack mixer and a couple of microphones and we would record it on cassettes and yeah, we would do our little radio shows. We didn't call them podcasts back then. Obviously we called them radio shows. We just, you know, I, I, I still probably have some cassettes with them somewhere. I mean, that's, that's just what we used to do. And then people would pass them around or copy them or whatever, if they liked them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Dying. You definitely OG over here. Straight up OG over here. No, oh, throwing at the signs like me. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, uh, yeah, no, I, I just want to say, hey, Matt, I, it's like a short, short and sweet. I just wanted to get you on the show before you go on your cuss country. I know that you got, you're a busy guy and I know you want to go see your family and your mom. And I want to say prayers to your family. And I want to say, uh, thank you God for Matt coming onto the podcast and take care of his family, his mom and him go see his whole family. So take care of him on his trip. Amen. Um, so yeah, no, just want to say thank you so much, Matt coming on. Um, uh, just one more question. Uh, you know, this, during these times, people like to hear positivity. Do you have a message to the people? Um, yeah, you know, um, last couple of months were pretty crappy. It, it sucked. It was lousy. We had to do a lot of things we didn't want to do, but you know what? They told me when I was a kid growing up means you got to do a lot of things you don't want to do sometimes because it's for the greater good. So, you know, yeah, it looks stupid to wear a mask. And I thought I had one as a prop that I was going to use, but oh well, that's okay. It looks stupid to wear. No, well, you know what? You look a lot stupider face down on a hospital bed with a tube stuck down your throat and your body is, is immobilized, injected with all kinds of, of uh, drugs to keep you from moving. So your muscles start to atrophy. And the only reason your lungs are working is because there's a pump. Um, I think that looks a lot stupider than a piece of cloth over your face for five minutes while you go on Walmart. You know? So if we all just, you know, it's like, it's like the flu, wash your hands, don't touch your face. And now it's just wear a mask and stay away from other people simple shit we do it we'll get out of this and then all everybody who's screaming up but more cover me we can all get back to work and get back to doing what we're supposed to do so let's just suck it up a little bit longer get through this and we can do this all right we're americans man people tell us we can't do shit and we say you know what fuck you we're gonna do it because we're americans that's what we do <laughs> you want to you want to see us do something tell us we can't all right so we can do this. So. Yes. Yeah. There, baby. There it is. You heard it. Hey, Matt, thank you so much. What's your social media one more time where we can follow you? Okay. Facebook is It's Matt G. That's I-T-S-M-A-T-T-G. Uh, Instagram and Snapchat is It's Me, Matt G. I-T-S-M-E. And Twitter is at it's me, I-T-S-M-E underscore Matt G. That's it, so guys. Get you somewhere too. Awesome. Love it. Follow him. I follow him on Instagram. It's me, M-A-T-T-G, because he's the OG. Shout yeah. out. Guys, thank you so oh. much. Yeah, see, told you. I'm going to repeat that. Thank you so much for watching Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We really care about the community where we're about positivity and we like to help each other out. This is, goes out to all my broadcasting people, to all my reverend people, to everybody, to the whole world, to the universe. Um, what I was going to say, take care of the animals, love each other. Like homeboy said here, wash your hands. That's like the most important thing. Uh, I wear my mask when I go to the grocery store, but other than that, I don't wear it. Um, I went to Yellowstone National Park, man, and I didn't wear my mask at all. Uh, I was out there enjoying life to the fullest, dude. It was so dope. Enjoying the outdoors. That's why I'm excited for you for your trip. You're going to love it, dude. Straight up. Guys, again, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. This is where it's going to go up, arielent.com. Go support me. Go to the shop. Thank you so much. You have no idea. God bless. Thank you guys so much. We're going to close it to the intro song. Yep, here he is. This goes out this week. Here we go. Oh, you heard it. You know it. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Such a great show. I learned so much. Thank you so much.
much for tuning in. ArielENT.com, Instagram, ArielENT, ELD. Like, subscribe, follow, share. Like, subscribe, show, share. Yeah.